In this video, I'm going to show you how to install extensions in Electro Server 5. And after I show you how to install extensions, I'm going to show you how to set up server level components from some of those extensions so that they start up when the server starts up. And uh, I'll talk to you about uh, what, what all that means as we go. Um, also, if you haven't already watched the video on uh, an extensions overview. Um, that video is is one where I give a overview of all the different types of components that make up an extensions, extensions directory structure, and uh, a few things like that. Uh, I don't go over any code or anything in in that video, but um, it does go into a little bit of detail about what extensions are and how they're made up and all that kind of thing. So in this video, I'm going to assume that you have that knowledge and so you know what extensions are and uh, the extensions that I show you how to install are already created and uh, I'm just going to take them and install them and then uh, we'll, we'll work with them a little bit in the admin. Okay so um, I have electroserver 5.0.1 installed and I'm just going to uh, start the server So Electro Server 5 is now running. To install an extension, all you need to do is go into the server folder and then into the extensions folder. And right now you can see I don't have any extensions installed. So to install an extension, um, you just have to uh, let's see here, I, I've got a I've got a folder I created just called test extensions. It's on my desktop and I have two extensions in there. So I'm just going to take one of them. Uh, I'll start with the UDP example here. I'm just going to copy it into the server slash extensions folder. Copy. Alright, that's it. That's all you have to do to install an extension. So this UDP example extension is now installed in Electro server. Uh, if I double click to go in here, um, there's a lib folder and the extension XML file. Um, this stuff was dis was discussed a little bit in the video that I mentioned earlier. All right, so this is installed, uh, and you know Electro Server is running because I started it a little while ago. Um, when you install a new extension, or if you happen to update an extension, you just need to restart Electro Server so that it'll use the latest. So I'm just going to close Electro Server and then open it again. <clears throat> so now Electro Server is is up and running again with the new extension installed. I'm going to open up the Electro Server 5 admin. And by the way, uh, there's a video um, that gives a brief overview um, of the entire admin. Uh, you should check that out as well. So I'm going to log into localhost here since I have this running locally. And I'm going to go to the server extensions tab and you can see the UDP example is in this list here. It's a list of only one because it's the only one installed. The UDP example is is just a uh, is an extension that only com contains one plugin and that plugin is is intended to be a room level plugin. So we don't have to do anything more here. We can just leave everything as is. It doesn't need to be configured in any additional way. So if this plugin, if this extension were to be used, uh, when a developer just creates a new room using uh, the client API, they would specify that they want the UDP uh, plugin to be instantiated with it. Um, so that's something that will. Um, like the, the code used to actually instantiate these things we'll, we'll look at in a future video. For now you should just know that it is installed properly. So let's install um, another one, one that's a little bit more complicated. I'm going back to my test extensions folder and I'm going to copy the tank game plugin, uh, the tank game extension into the extensions folder. So I copied that. I'm going to restart Electro Server. <clears throat> 
the Electra server is starting up. And I'm going to uh, restart the uh, Electra server admin as well. Logging into localhost and going to the server extensions tab. Now you can see there are two extensions in this list. If I select the tank game extension, um, there's the option down here to create server level components. There, when I was talking a minute ago about the UDP example, I mentioned that it, it just contains a plugin that's intended to be a room level plugin, so we don't need to do anything further with that. Well, with the tank game, uh, the tank game extension actually contains uh, three different components. It contains a tank game plugin, which is intended to be room level, uh, so we don't have to do anything for that. When a room is created that needs to use it, it'll just specify it. But then it contains two other components that we uh, want to be initialized with the server and to be running just one copy of it. Um, so I'm going to add both of those here. I, I click the Create button, and uh, I have to choose which extension to use. Uh, so I want to choose Tank Game Extension, and then which component handle to use. Uh, if you were to open up the extension XML file in the Tank Game uh, folder, uh, you would see that there are three uh, components described in there, and these are the handles for each of those. So the GMS initializer is used just to uh, initialize the game, um, and so this is this is a, a uh, extension lifecycle event handler, uh, which means that whenever the extension happens to be uh, uh, initialized, so like on server startup, this event handler is going to be run. Uh, so we just want to create this so that this code is is run when the server starts up. I click Save here, and now uh, you can see that under the components, uh, there's GMS Initializer exists. Now I want to add one more. I click Create, and then under the Tank Game extension, I choose the component handle Timestamp Plugin. This is something that we want to be a server level plugin, uh, so it's it's uh, initialized uh, when the server starts up and uh, is something that the game clients can use to ask the server what time it is. The game and the server will synchronize their clocks by using this plugin. Um, so I just click Save. And now I have two server level components uh, that are set up to be uh, initialized when the server starts up. So um, now that I've done that, um, I'm going to restart Electra server. These games have, a, or these plugins have a little bit of logging in them. So when, as Electra server starts up, we should see some logging to the console. Um, actually, I think the logging is uh, occurs when when they're used. Um, but you can see there's a little bit of logging up here. It says the the tank game event handler um, was initialized and uh, the timestamp plugin was as well. Um, all right, so uh, we have just installed a, a, a couple of extensions and then configured a few components. So let me show you, um, now that we've done that, let me show you another way to install uh, extensions. Uh, what I just showed you for installing extensions is, is how you install them if you have access to the server machine and it's convenient for you to just copy those those extension directories over. Um, but what if you wanted to do it remotely? Uh, let me show you that. Uh, but first let me uh, remove these uh, components that we just added. Uh, click to remove that. Click to remove the GMS initializer. And now I'm going to remove these two uh, extensions as well. Extension, remove. UDP remove, yes. All right. Um, and now if you look in the extensions directory, it's completely empty because we just removed everything. I'm going to start up Electra server. And 
And I'm going to start up the admin here again. I closed that, but I shouldn't have. So now the admin is open, logging in, and I'm going to go to the server extensions screen. So you can see that there's a choose file button over here on the screen. If you click that, it allows you to browse on your local machine to a zip file of an extension. So imagine that your server was running remotely and you wanted to um, add or update uh, extensions. You can do that by by uh, using your admin locally um, but having it connect remotely to this, the running server and you just use this choose file button to browse to a zipped up extension and then you upload it and then you you can restart the server through the server monitoring screen I'm sorry through the server management screen so uh, let's let's do, do that here um, except it's not going to be remote it's local uh, since I don't have the server running remotely. Uh, I'm going to go into my uh, tank game folder and then I'm just going to select everything in here uh, the contents of this uh, extension. I'm going to right click and choose I have 7-zip installed and it just makes it easy to zip things up. So I just selected all the contents. I choose 7-zip and then add to tank game dot zip. What this, what this just did was created a a zip file of just these uh, these two things. So it's, I didn't zip up the directory. I zipped up the contents of the directory. So if I were to just unzip this right now, um, we would see the two files. We wouldn't see a folder that contains the two files. Um, all right. So now uh, back here in the admin, I'm going to click choose file and go to the desktop, and I have. Let's see here, test extensions, go into tank game, and then tank game.zip. So I click on that, and I click open. Uh, so I chose the file, tank game.zip, and now I'm going to click the upload button. Okay, so it's now been, been uploaded. Uh, you can see that it's in the list here, but it says the extension has not yet been loaded. You have to restart the server first. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to restart the server manually locally here. But I want to show you uh, through the server management screen. You can go to uh, restart and shut down, and you could click click just restart server here. I'm not going to do that here locally because it restarts in a headless mode, um, and I like to see the console. So um, I'm just going to close the console and start Electra server again. And just I'm going to log out of the admin and then log right back in here. And now on the server extension screen, you can see the tank game extension exists here. And I can click create and create all the components that we were just dealing with a few minutes ago. So uh, in this video, uh, I showed you how to install extensions just by copying the extension directory. I showed you how to install extensions by uh, uploading a zip file of the extension. And we looked at how to create server level components, or instances of server level components, um, by uh, s selecting uh, an extension, uh, clicking the create button, and then uh, uh, choosing which which component within the extension to use. So uh, look for future videos on uh, how to author the components of the extensions and also uh, some some videos on how to use the extensions in uh, in the clients.